Okay. There were some questions in the workshop about specifically the sort of comfort of deep carry and how to configure something for optimal success. Now, obviously, some of this is going to be contingent on body type, but I'm going to show you basically how I have mine set up. A couple of disclaimers. Number one, just for the purposes of demonstration and ease, I've removed the leg leash so, you, so I can move stuff around, but obviously Filster does not recommend removing the leg leash without having some alternate attachment method uh, to secure the holster from uh, vertical movement. So with that out of the way, the other part of it is we're talking about deep carry. So we are going to be getting up close and somewhat personal with my goods. And uh, there's not going to be anything explicit here, but just given where the pistol lies, uh, there is inherently going to be some accentuation. So um, if you don't want to see that, cool, but just kind of letting you know what the deal is. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up, and this is basically about where... I tend to deep carry. So um, I'm trying to wear light colored stuff to kind of get an idea of where everything falls. My belly button is here. This is generally about the height that I typically wear my pants at my natural waist, uh, which is also just kind of above the peak of my love handles. Um, because I've got these joggers cinched down, it is creating a little bit more of a muffin top but that's not really relevant. The considerations are for deep carry, I still run the standard belt. Now again, anatomical consideration, um, my glutes create enough of a shelf that that is kind of what holds it in place from sliding down in the back. Um, and I tend to run the belt looser when I'm deep carrying than I do when I'm actually running it in my conventional carry position, which is about here. Um, I tend to run my pistol a touch higher where the back plate is just above my navel as opposed to even with it because for my build, that is where my sweet spot is. Now again, uh, we're talking about the, the comfort considerations. Number one, something like a 365 and this is a, a 365X, so it's got the full grip, but it has the shorter, um, the shorter muzzle and slide. So, something this sized, for me, is about as long of a gun as I can realistically deep carry. For me, it's either this or my LCR. Now, um, this holster, I don't have any need for a, a wedge on it. Partially, just because of my build, there's not a, there's I don't have such an ample gut that I ne really need to kick it out that much. Um, and because of the holster design, the Dark Star Orions and the Hitchhikers, they are very well rounded. So I don't need anything to alleviate a hot spot. Your mileage may vary depending on the holster that you pick. But uh, again, so basically, I've got the sp the the belt riding on my hip bones. And, you know, this is in the inguinal crease. My bits are here. So I dress to the left and I carry to the right. And, I mean, you can see that there's really not a whole lot of impingement on how I can move. Now, when I bend, again, the muzzle is not really... The only contact point is this right here. Presses into my thigh a little bit but it's not anything that is supremely uncomfortable. Um, you know, I'm able to do like a straight squat and uh, not really have any issues. But this is how I run mine. And this is roughly about how it sits uh, under, my, under my pants, just at or just below the waistline. And the other critical part about this is if you are going to deep carry, you need to 
make sure that your pants fit correctly because belts are accessories. They're not necessities. Your belt is not what should be holding up your pants. How your pants fit your body should be holding up your pants. And the reason why this is expressly important when you're talking about deep carry is you can't have the belt cinched down super tight because you need enough clearance to be able to get down in between the waistband and over on top of the grip of the pistol. So uh, as such, you need to make sure that your pants fit properly, not just at the waist, but through the entire seat as well. This is something that I've talked about on more than one occasion, where basically what we're looking at is if all of this fabric actually fits against your body, then you now have this material that is hugging the holster up against your body, and it's not just one thing that's, that's supporting it. The same thing goes to the actual pants itself. If the only contact point is up here, you've got all the weight of the, 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 the pant material hanging off of a fairly small patch of real estate, whereas all of this is contacting stuff then there's more friction, which means that it tends to stay put better. So what a lot of people need to kind of get acclimated to is the idea that honestly, your pants and how they fit you are just as important, if not arguably more so than a belt for your concealed carry rig, especially as it pertains to the uh, the Filster Enigma. So um, that is what I kind of wanted to touch on. So, you know, again, from a comfort standpoint, number one, you need to make sure that the pistol fits within the available real estate. So, you know, again, I'm relatively short torsoed, which is a, another reason why I tend to wear my pants just a little bit uh, above my hip bones is because that then gives me a little bit more space to work with. Now, I will say this is a, a 365 XL hitchhiker. There is enough space in this holster to accommodate for the, uh, for the longer slide. I know that I said that I prefer running the short one. Um, you know, again, that's kind of, your mileage may vary. I just tend to run my holster a touch longer than the actual gun itself. So maybe a little bit of an asterisk, a little bit of a, of a correction there. I could probably get a full XL to work in this configuration. Uh, but, you know, again, the 365X really just seems to kind of suit the application most appropriately. And so, um, you know, you can see it's riding high enough that there's not really a whole ton of risk of pinching or binding any of the anatomy that is hanging below the muzzle. And when I sit, it's not really pressing to the center line. It, it, the only piece of it that is really contacting my body is this corner right here presses into my thigh. So this is kind of how I <laughs> deconflict the airspace. Um, and this is how I set up my guns for deep carry. Um, this is the same type of, of concept that I use with my LCR as well. The main difference being that the, you can see the, uh, the texture on the bore sight is, I mean, it's not super abrasive, but um, like my dress shirts and some of my like finer wool trousers, it will still eat up the fabric. And uh, so because of that, if I'm wearing stuff that is going to be costly to repair or replace, the LCR is what gets pressed into service. If I'm just wearing like jeans or, you know, some, some slightly more durable materials, I'll run this deep carry no issue, just like uh, the, the photos that I shared in the Filster workshop. So hopefully this gives a little bit of insight into the considerations on how to optimize the Enigma for comfortable deep carry. And um, if there's any questions, go ahead, put them down in the comments, let me know. And yeah, so uh, outside of that, hope it has a fantastic week, stay dangerous, and stay sharp.